So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing, oh my top's gone weird, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, um, you may already notice I have foundation on, I've just done a first impressions on the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, which will be up on, I want to say Saturday, might be wrong, but oh no, Friday, Friday, Friday or Sunday, one of those two, keep an eye out for that. I'm trying to make sure I do three uploads a week at the moment, and plus a weekly vlog on my vlog channel, so make sure you check that out as well. Um, yeah, so I've already got my base on, if you want to know what I think about that, go check out that video when it's up. So I'm just going to start off with um, concealer, I'm going to start off with concealer because I haven't got any on. And I didn't really want to use this concealer, but I'm going to now, I'm going to use the Rimmel, no, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I wanted a lighter one, but I don't have one here, so we're just going to have to go with this. I'm just going to put a little bit, I don't want to put too much under, um, yeah, and I'm just going to blend it with a fluffy contour brush from uh, Real Techniques. So, yep, now I'm going to set it with the setting brush from Real Techniques and the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana, which is one of my new obsessions. It just brightens up your under eyes so well. I'm going to put quite a lot on there, do like a sort of semi-bake type thing. Okay, now I'm just going to leave that for a few minutes to kind of sort of bake. I don't really bake, I kind of like do a bit of a sad attempt at it. I'm going to leave that for a minute and I'm going to do my eyebrows, I think. Although I don't know where my eyebrow brush... Ah, oh, there it is, just found it. I thought I'd lost it. I was like convinced I'd left it on a holiday because I'm just working out of my um, makeup bag I took on holiday at the moment. And yeah, I'm going to use the Freedom Brow... Prom brow eyebrow pomade in the shade blonde i actually really love this shade at first i thought i got the wrong shade but no i'm like convinced this is like fine now i would i've already like combed through my eyebrows and stuff so i'm just going to kind of fill in any of the loose gaps and make my eyebrows a little bit more intense i think that will do for that one i'll just do the other one So I don't do them like super precise, just like adding a little bit more definition to them. And I am going to brush them through again, if I can find a brush, like so. I've just dropped that on the floor, that's great. I really need to buy a new eyebrow gel. I wanted to get one of the new Benefit ones and then I just kind of like forgot about it, never bought it. Um, but yeah, I really need to get a new new gel. Now I'm going to set my foundation with the Rimmel Fit Me powder, just a big fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to kind of wipe away the bake as well. Hopefully it's had enough time. Powder's a lot lighter than my foundation so this is probably going to make it look a bit weird. And I've just brushed my eyebrows all that so now I need to comb them. Yes, that's the base done, and I've already been filming for six minutes, yay! So now I'm going to bronze, NYC bronzer, sunny bronzer, whatever it's called. And I'm just going to go a bit mental with that because I can kind of get away with it at the moment because I'm more tanned on like the rest of my body. And I'm using the um, Makeup Academy F12 brush, it's just like a tapered fluffy brush. Now my neck a bit. So to kind of brighten everything up and bronze everything up. Right, done that. I really wanted a different blush, but I've only got one in front of me. So I'm going to use the Fashionista New York New York blusher. Yeah, because I've only got this in front of me, so we're just going to have to go with this. So sorry, this is a bit repetitive of the last couple of get ready with me's I've done, but um. I've got something new for the eyes that I wanted to show you. So yeah, that's just added a nice little sheen. I've got powder on my highlight brush. So, highlighter. I'm going to use the one that I always use. My top's gone weird again. I don't really like filming in this top, I've just decided 
it's just a bit like, ugh, it just like slides around too much. Kylie Bible palette, and the second one across there, the kind of go uh, more goldeny highlight. Obsessed with this still. Voila. So now it's time for the eyes, and I've got something slightly more exciting now for the eyes. It's something brand new. I just went and bought. Um, it's from Collection, it's the Eyes Uncovered Nude Palette. I saw this and I thought, oh, it looked kind of cool, and it was $3.99, like $3.99 for an eyeshadow palette. How insane is that? So yeah, I thought they were more matte when I saw the like um, testers, and I haven't tested it or anything. I thought I'll just literally see how it is in the video. Um, so yeah, open it up. It's like this, you get up, how many shades? One, two, three, four, five, six. At first I thought it might be kind of like a naked, uh, the Naked Basics palette, but it's definitely more shimmery. You get all these little brushes, but I'm just like gonna leave that because it's already fallen out twice. So yeah, that is that, $3.99. And this is the, not, there's two different ones. I don't know which one this is. I think, uh, I don't know whether the nude palette is the one that it is or whatever, but it was one that was more like silvery kind of nighttime, and I feel like this was the kind of more daytime one. So I'm going to start off with priming my eyes, because I always use eyes pri eye, eye primer no matter what, so sorry if you don't and you wanted to see what it looks like without, I always do, so I'm going to. Look how like sheeny my cheeks are, I didn't really intend to go that crazy, but it has. Um, yeah, anyway, I look mental. Oops, too much highlight. Oh dear. Oh dear, we're right, just gonna have to go with it because it's on now and I can't get it off. But yeah, Smashbox photo finish lid primer as always. Okay, so the first shade, I'm just gonna take this one on the end here, the lightest, which is the shade white chocolate i also like that they're named i feel like that gives them it makes them a lot more like seem a bit more expensive okay i'm not sure whether my camera's flashing at me because i'm running out of memory or what we're just gonna go and see if it dies so yeah du, 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 du. yeah it's just a nice kind of natural whatever just does the job kind of shade now i'm gonna take fourth one in here which is chocolate milk <laughs> i like how these names are going um i'm just gonna put that on my outer corner just to see what that is and we'll just kind of go from there i think put that there just dab it it's not as pigmented as i was expecting but it's not bad either it's like you know it's all right good starter palette not too chalky and it's not like one of those eyeshadows where you like touch it and suddenly it's just like dust everywhere like it's not too much comes off if you know what I mean but like enough so yeah I'm liking that I do however spy some fallout no 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 not happening So yeah, done that. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out because that went further up than I had anticipated. There isn't really a matte crease colour, which I'm kind of disappointed about. I had like thought when I saw this in the shop that there was like at least three mattes, but they are all like slightly shimmery. Um, the one on the end here looks like the most matte. This one actually looks kind of like duochrome, Mirror Destiny, so I'm gonna put that in the centre of the lid because I think that looks really cool. I don't have enough brushes to get a clean one out, so we're just gonna tap all the excess off and yeah put that over the middle let's just swatch it on my finger and see what it looks like yeah it's just like a nice taupey color slight sort of not really iridescent but it's slightly like duochrome sort of it's like a nice shimmer not as light as I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be much lighter okay we're gonna this is just work in progress okay gonna have like pretty much like taupey eyes like the entire time so that's that I am just gonna try and take the very darkest shade um 
God, everything's falling off my table today. How? Oh, that's very pigmented, very, very dark. Oh, and we're about to run out of memory, so I'm going to change memory cards and then do that. Hey, I'm back. Right then. So I'm going to take a little bit of that dark, dark shade on a crown C441 Pro Pro Blending Crease. So after I had that on my finger, I then tried to swatch it on my hand, and the colour payoff wasn't great, even though it looked really dark. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, God. Why did I do this eye first? I normally do the other eye first. I've not done a very good job of that, I don't think. bad eye. That's how it always works and I've just put my finger in it again. Just going to take some of the light shade on my creasy brush, a different crease brush, and just kind of blend it out to that. I don't know, I always do this. I don't think this is a particular technique and it probably makes my makeup like around it look really powdery, but I always do it. Also, if I haven't got a clean brush that I'm working with, I mean. I don't like it. <laughs> well, I do like it, but I don't like it. I don't like, I think the shadows are kind of hard to blend. I'm hoping it looks good on camera, because it looks alright in, like, person. Like, up close, it doesn't look great, but from a distance it looks okay. So yeah, that's kind of how it's in here. I'm just going to like clean it up a little bit more and then come back and show you and put some mascara on. Okay, so just kind of like, I don't know, blended it a little bit more. I like this palette. I think for 3 99 it's a bargain. Um, great if you're starting out, but I'm not really sure like if you've already got like naked palettes and stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it, you know. I, I think going back I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it's a very nice, you know, easy, just basic shades that would be great if you're starting out with makeup. Next, I'm just going to top it up with some mascara. I'm using the Max Factor Voluptuous False Slash Effect, I think it's called. It's one of those stupid name ones. I need to get a new mascara. I'm like just trying to use up the last of this. So, yeah, that is all of that done. I'm actually just going to stop this video and do another one. I've done like three videos kind of intertwined within each other and do a first impressions on this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick and then I'll come back and show you the kind of finished final piece. So here is the finished get ready with me. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my social media down below and my vlog channel and I will see you next time. Bye!